In previous videos, we've done a lot of focusing on design aspects and how to make a better design. Let's switch it up, and in this one, let's focus on how to make a deliverable. Let's put some stuff on sheets. And a cool thing that is built into Civil 3D is a couple of wizards that allow you to create sheets uh, in an automated fashion. A tour of what we have in this drawing, we have a corridor with some alignments. All of this is active in this drawing. Um, the surface associated with said corridor and topographic surface. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my topographic surface on so we can see it. And um, for this corridor, we have a design profile view and profiles. And what we want to do is create some plan and profile sheets for this corridor. In order to do that, one, you need to have either the stuff active, the Civil 3D objects active in your drawing, or have them brought in by a data reference, a data connection, data shortcut. Uh, some tools work better with it active, but almost all of them work with it being in a data reference. In order to cut sheets, the first thing we have to do is create view frames. And in order to run the view frame wizard, we will go to the output tab and we click create view frames to begin this wizard. I'm going to choose the alignment I want to cut along. It's my road center line. I'm going to start at zero and end at 3181. I'll hit next. <coughs> We said we want to plan and profile. Now, if you do plan, if you're running this, you must have templates created for it to pull. And what these templates are going to tell it is the size of the view frames. So I will navigate to said template. Go in here to uh, sheet templates. We'll do 34 by 22. And we want, whoops. Plan and profile 50 scale. Hit OK. I want my view frames along my alignment, not rotated north, and we're going to give it a 25 foot overlap. We'll click next. Now it's going to create the view frames in a view frame group. You can choose the layer you wish and a name if you don't want to use the auto name and the styles and label styles if you want to have them as well. I'm going to leave mine on basic and put the labels at the top center. Hit next. Match lines is the same thing. You can choose whether to insert match lines or not. And the styles and layers associated with them. I'm going to leave all this alone for this tutorial. In the profile view, you get to choose which profile view style you want to use. So I'm going to do my 10 exaggeration major grids only. And I want no bands. I'm going to hit create views. And you see what it did. It made two views. And correct it made three views and because i had match lines on it automatically placed match lines okay now that we've got our view frames let's make our sheets we're going to go over to create sheets we're going to choose the view frame group i guess before i do that i should show you where view frame groups are associated they're in here under the alignment that you created it along Oh, I was wrong about that. They're down here under their own little tab called View Frame Groups. Down here, you'll see them. And you can rename them as you see fit. And it shows the view frames, the match lines, a bunch of other metadata. This video, we won't go too deep into that. But we're going to hit Create Sheets and step to the wizard. We're going to choose this View Frame Group. In our case, we only have one. We use all of the ranges. I want all layouts to be in this drawing, or you can put them in a new drawing. North arrow, I'm going to leave it as none. I'll place that manually. I'm going to go to sheet set. In order to do this, it must be placed in the sheet set. You can either add it to an existing or create a new one. I'm going to hit a new one and just let it store it here for now. Next, now it's going to ask you the styles of the profiles. Those were already set when we cut the views. And then get other settings from existing profile. I can choose that. And we want to align the profiles and plan. You get to choose whether to center, start, or end. I'm going to put start and I'm going to hit create sheets. It will ask you to save the drawing first and it will save it. And it will ask where to put the profile views. Put them in somewhere where it won't be near others. And it's going to create three more profile views. It's going to cut the sheets as well. 
and automatically added them to the sheet set as you see here. Let me minimize this. Let me dock this and minimize it for the purpose of this video. <clears throat> and what it did, it cre created three views, profile views for the three sheets. And notice that it put a spacing. I found that this is almost never correct. When I come over to the sheets, you'll see that uh, it lined up the first one and the stations here lined up. But I'm missing my grids and, and so forth. I'm going to come over here. We'll see the same thing here. And we'll come over to the third one. And I can see this one. So even though it cut it, you're going to have to go in and do a little manual editing. So I'm going to grab, as an example, come over to our first sheet. I can see on this sheet from 210 to 160 ish will fit in my view. This is a pretty steep one, so it might not fit at a 10 scale. So, what you do is you go in and edit each one of these. So, I'm going to select this view. 210 is its top, 160 is its bottom. So, uh, but I'm not able to see the bottoms of these, so we might have to cut it off at 20. Four. So let's go in here to our profile view properties. Let's go to our elevations and take it to 204. And hit OK. Click that down. And you just start manually editing these to uh, get them to look the way you want. Very seldom will it be perfect the first time. There you go. And then you can relock it. And you just rinse and repeat. But it cut the sheets just that quickly. And I've got three of them. And if I used a template, my fields would come in. The border XREF is lost, so I have to fix that. But everything else that came in, it automatically put match lines, wipeouts, used the north arrow that was in my sheet, in my template, and placed the bar scales. So just that fast, I've got three sheets that I can start working with. And this one, I'd come over here and I would select this and I would just move it over. And then I would activate this, unfreeze it. Sometimes this happens. You Sometimes you have to refresh it. Looks like I might have accidentally zoomed it just then. Gets a little crazy. And there I go, and I got my view, and then I can adjust the height so that it shows up, and I've got a sheet cut. Just that quick to cut planning profiles. You can do plan and plan. You can do cross sections. We'll cover cross sections in another video set. If you found this helpful, let me know in your comments. Please click the like button and feel free to subscribe.